Hi everyone, this is Diane. So I wanted to go over three different things with you tonight. Well, not tonight, it's 2.30 in the morning Sunday. So let me go over the three things that I wanna share with you. The first thing is I wanna show my chunky charm that I was working on uh, last weekend. I'm going to have a random giveaway and I'm going to discuss briefly, briefly about a future giveaway. So let me start with number one, which is the chunky charm that I worked on last week. So if you saw my previous video on my Michaels haul, you notice that I purchased a whole bunch of um, glass beads that were on sale for 40 cents at Michaels and I already had a ton of them. So I'm like, well, what else can I do aside from stick pins with all these beads? So I started looking into YouTube videos on chunky charms and I'm like, okay, I'm, I like doing that because I did one and I enjoy doing it and, it, and they're cute. But I didn't have everything that I needed, so I just made makeshift stuff that I had around. So I had like this real cheap wire, and I created, I got the jump rings from this old bracelet that I found. I just took them off of the where it was hanging to create, to get my jump rings. And I also got the clasp. The other, oh, here's the, it must have been another bracelet, but I got the clasp. Like I'll use this clasp as well for a future one. Then I had like these little charms lying around. So see like the wire is really, really cheap. It was just this. And then I tried to make the little, the little um, eye pin out of it by using my little pliers. So I just used whatever I had handy. And with that, I created my first little chunky charm. And it's all right. I mean, from it being my first one, I don't think it's that bad. Let me pick up the camera a little bit so you can see it so I can have it dangling. So this is what it looks like. So there's the clasp at the very top. And then that's my little chunky charm. I mean, it's not the best. And as I was showing it, I was trying to get it together. They were falling because I didn't have it clasped. I mean, closed all the way. The jump rings weren't closed. So my beads were falling. But you get the idea. And then I have like a little dragonfly charm at the bottom. So I plan to make more. I want to make a couple of key rings for my sisters. So last weekend I went to Michael's and I got the split rings for the keychain. Um, I got some additional chain, um, some additional clasps, some head and eye pins. This is what actually what I really did need. And I also found these cute little chains that were on sale for $2.49. So you have like the purples and the silver. Then um, this one here has like yellow green and blue so it's really really cute then i found these also on sale because my sister my younger sister's got three little ones she got three kiddos so i'm gonna make a chunky charm keychain with these three to represent one for each of her kids and then for my older sister i'm gonna use one of these as well so i'll keep you updated on how those are coming out and what they're looking like but for the first one it wasn't too bad all right, so moving on to my random giveaway. So what I did since yesterday was June 1st, I took all the comments that were made on any May video that I uploaded. So from the beginning of the month to the end of the month, I printed out the comments. And if you notice, there's two per page because there's no sense of me printing, printing. I just put two of them, two pages per sheet. So it'll, I wouldn't consume that much paper. And then I just started with the earliest video and I started numbering, numbering them like I did before. And again, these were for any comments that were left on any of my videos. And you, it's a small giveaway. And again, sorry, it's only open to US because the shipping is ridiculous. And this is what you're going to win if you win. If you win and you don't like the items or you already have the items and or you don't need any of the items and you want me to pick somebody else, you can just go right ahead and tell me and I can pick the second winner. I'm gonna leave all the numbers there until I get your address. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. So the winner's going to win this Inka Dinka Do clear stamp. You're going to win this wooden stamp, the candy jar, and this candy jar here as well. You're going to win um, this pack of uh, DCWV, a cardstock and you have all these colors here and these are real rich colors like my favorite one is this look how black that is I love it and it just goes with all the other colors it's a nice little stack this is an extra one that I have I had bought two and you're also going to win this punch right here so the punch 
will be part of it. And that's why international shipping, that punch weighs a lot. This uh, paper stack, these two wooden stamps, and this clear stamp here. Okay, so let me go ahead and pick the winner. So I put all numbers in here. And what I did is that I printed out this number sheet from the internet and it just made it easier for me to cut but it only goes up to a hundred so I had to type I had to print out another one and then I, all I did was add a one in front of it to make it 121 122 etc so and that's what I did and I cut them and then I folded them up so let me go ahead and move this so that you know that I'm picking only one winner and these are tea weenies so let me go ahead and pick just one Make sure it's only one. I'm going to move this out of the way. And the winner is number 72. Let me see who 72 is. And that is 72 is. I'm going to move it. It's right here, but I can't read because it's so small. 72 is Hazel Bays 123. Hazel Bays 123 is the winner of my giveaway. Um, today is Sunday. If I don't hear from you by, let me see, by Tuesday. So you have all of day, all today, all tomorrow, all Monday, all Tuesday. So Tuesday by 10 o'clock. If I don't hear from Hazel, Hazel Basil123 by Tuesday 10 o'clock I'll pick another winner so I'm gonna leave all of these in here I'm gonna leave this one open in there so that I'll know that this is the winner and I will she'll have until Tuesday at 10 o'clock Eastern time and if she doesn't contact me by then then I'll pick another winner so I'm gonna leave it all open all together until then okay Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about real quick is my future giveaway. Okay, so I'm going to have a future giveaway. It's going to take part in place in July. July 25th is my birthday, which is six months away from Christmas. So it's literally the midpoint between before Christmas. So this is definitely a Christmas in July type of birthday. I mean, giveaway. So my giveaway, I'm not even going to discuss what it's going to be about because I really don't know yet. I mean, I have an idea, but I'm not sure. But the future giveaway will include a lot of like Christmas stuff because it's Christmas in July. So I'm going to have like Christmas stamps, Christmas paper, um, Christmas embellishments and other stuff as well. Not just Christmas, but it is going to be... Christmas in July type of giveaway because I want to include stuff in there and because Christmas in July is very common and since my birthday falls exactly six months before Christmas I thought it would be the perfect opportunity and I think I'm ge I'm go I'm gearing towards it's um, make whatever you want type of giveaway because I do want it to be a challenge giveaway because it is going to be a pretty nice it's going to be a pretty big um, reward that you're going to get if you win so but again I'll give you future information because I am going to be leaving for Texas in about two weeks I'll be in Texas for about three weeks so I really want to get this up and running before I leave because I probably will not post that many videos when I'm home visiting family because I only get to see my mom and sisters twice a year which is around the Christmas break a Christmas holiday and then in summer so I really may not have that much time to be uploading videos while I'm there I mean I will but probably not as much as I do here because I do spend my time with my mom and my sister and she's got three kids and it's just it's not the same as being here by myself um, so I uh, do keep an, an eye out for my next video which is probably going to include my future giveaway so in the near future I'm going to discuss this giveaway here all right guys so that's it so Hazel Basil123, I think that was her name. You have until Tuesday, 10 o'clock Eastern time to respond or send me a private message with your address. And guys, thank you so much for commenting on my videos. And I do find a way to thank you by having small giveaways, sometimes random giveaways for one video. Sometimes I have to wait for the entire month. But anyway, thank you so much. It means a whole bunch. It means a whole lot to me. 
um, knowing that you guys take the time to watch and comment my videos. All right, guys, I be, I'm, my words are beginning to just jumble around because I guess I'm sleepy. It is now 2.50 in the morning Sunday. So that's it, guys. Hope you have a great Sunday um, and a great work week. And um, tomorrow I go grocery shopping and I might just wander off and see where maybe I can go shopping as well aside from just groceries. So if I find any great deals or I find something good, I'll make sure to share that with you guys tomorrow night. Alrighty guys, that's it. Have a great night and um, we'll chit chat again, probably to discuss my next video, my next giveaway. Okay, see, totally rambling now. Okay, alrighty, have a good one, bye.